Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Tim Tran, and I'm coming to you live from Orlando, Florida. Um, there's this weird lighting real quick, so let me kind of adjust this. Um, but I want to welcome you today uh, to Finish Strong Friday. And uh, there's a topic that I want to talk to you about, uh, which is how to win this, this week and every single week moving forward. So, you know, as people come on, um, wanted to kind of just drop me a hello and you know, tell me where you're coming from. If you ever do kind of like one of these lives, it's there's something that's interesting that happens. Um, that you know, there's usually there's usually like this like time lag about like 10 to 15 seconds um, where like people where you don't really know if people are watching. So uh, you know, so if you ever do it live, just just expect that. Um, real quick, let me kind of adjust. The lighting's kind of really weird. So welcome. Uh, so today's topic, I wanted to kind of just wanted to kind of just really kind of talk to you about today and, and really everything every single Friday is going to be finish strong Friday so finish strong Friday so today's topic particularly is going to be how to win this week and every single week after that uh, even if you're stuck and so so that's the topic but before I get into that I want to kind of do a few housekeeping uh, for, for this page I know that there's a kind of a bunch of people that have come in uh, hi Diane um, and so and so, there, you know, there, there's, there's a bunch of people that have come in and we wanted to kind of make sure that everybody uh, understands like how to navigate. So if you kind of see what's been happening this week, it's actually pretty incredible. You know, you have somebody like Jay Lehman, you know, Jiggy Jay, who came out on Monday and talked about mindset um, and, 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 you know, like ex-pro football NFL player saw the opportunity and then now has built a diamond business level uh, in USANA. Then you had uh, Dr. Norm and Barbara uh, who has who came on on Tuesday and they were talking about, you know, they, they were kind of talking about how to get people to, to, to a presentation. And so they have, they built to, to become a Ruby and so they have an enormous experience on Tuesday. And so Tuesday is going to be uh, Ask a Leader. So you kind of leverage off of that. And then on Wednesday you had like, you had Jeremy Stansfield. Uh, the living legend himself, Mr. Jamie Stansfield, who talked about uh, PPP and shared his story and how he created this massive momentum uh, in his business. And so, so I, there's something magical that's happening on this page. And so a few things um, to really get the most out of this, out of this page, uh, if you guys haven't already, if you're adding people to your team, uh, if you're adding people to this page and, um, and they're your teammates, one thing I would suggest you do is when they when they enter the team when they enter into this group i would go to the pin post or at least tell them to go to the pin post uh, and tag them in the comments in the pin post and so that way they have a chance to see it uh the second thing i would recommend is because there's so much that's going on um that i would recommend because you know the way the facebook algorithm works sometimes you may not see it, it may not show up in your news feed uh, and so one of the things to guarantee that, you know, that you're getting value and that you're actually seeing the post is if you actually go to the USANA United US, USA page, and if you look right here, you, if you can see, there's a join button right there. And so what you want to do is you want to turn on the notification. I know you guys can see that, but you want to turn on the notification, like right there, and where it says edit settings, right there, you want to turn on where it says all post. And so that way you, you can guarantee that you're actually seeing all the stuff uh, that's in this page. Um, and then the third thing I would recommend is uh, interact with the group. Interact with the comments. You know, as you, as you interact with, with, with the, the, the people, um, one of the things that I find really helpful is that if people start to interact and after the video or after kind of the training that somebody does, um, you know, give an insight. Give an insight on what people are uh, what, what, what you've gotten out of that video. So then, you know, when people are going through the comments, they've seen some of the insights. And so some of the insights that you may have picked up, uh, other people could, could learn from you. Um, and so it goes vice versa. And so everybody's learning from everybody and everybody's leveraging off of this. And so um, I think this, is, this group has been extremely, extremely special. Um, something that's, that, you know, a couple of the, the, the leaders in the United States have come together and really kind of done something amazing. And so, uh, I mean, think about it from your perspective. If you had, if, if you find value from this, uh, think about, you know, how you can leverage your team. Think about um, how you can leverage some of these leaders by letting them train your, your teammates. And so, you know, share, share this. Um, I would encourage you, you find it helpful, uh, get your teams part of this group and get them in interacting and teaching, teaching those people to, number one, tag people in the pin post. Number two, um, 
turn on the notification, and number three, interact with people and give insights within comments. So that's just kind of, uh, that's just wanted to kind of do a few housekeeping things just to see, because I know a lot of people have, have recently joined, um, and and you wanna make sure that you know everybody's kind of on the same page with this stuff. But, so anyways, um, let's get back to the topic. So the topic is how to win, how to win this week and every single week after that, even if you're stuck. And so I wanna tell you a little bit of story. Um, you know, when, when, one of the, one of the people that I, that we, um, or at least like I follow is Tony Robbins. And so, you know, if you follow Tony Robbins long enough, you know, he tells a lot of amazing stories. And so one of the stories that he tells is when he used to work with Andre Agassi. And so back in the day when, and if you guys don't know who Andre Agassi is, he's a tennis player, but he was, he was the number one tennis player for the longest time. And, and, and what happened was like, he was not just the number one, but he was like extremely dominant for for, for a good good amount of time. And so there got to be a point where he actually started to slip and he started to go on this losing streak. And all of a sudden, like one person beat him, another person beat him, and all of a sudden he got into like this, this rut. Um, and then, you know, the, his girlfriend at the time uh, followed Tony and, he's, and she was saying, hey, Andre, you know, like I, I know this guy, Tony Robbins, you know, you guys, you should, you know, he's, he's worked with a lot of athletes also and uh, on mindset and things like that. And you should probably go see him. And so, so Andre kind of, you know, for a while, he was just like, no, I don't want to go see Tony, like Tony Robbins, this, this like foo-foo, like fluffy guy. Um, and so, but eventually he got, got to a point where he got, he convinced, uh, his girlfriend convinced him to go see Tony. And, and so then when he, when he got to Tony, he was like, he, he, he knocked on the door, um, he got into his office and he just said, okay, just go ahead, just do your thing, right? And he crossed his arms and he was very, he was kind of like, you know, he's very standoff, standoffish. And, and so he, and so Tony goes, excuse me, first off, uh, you came here and you're the one that, that's been losing. And so they kind of got talking and they realized, and then so he started to talk. He said, he, and Tony asked him, he said, he, Tony asked, um, if you, rem like, when was the last time that you won? Can you remember the last time that you actually won? And so he, he went back to the time where I think it was like a championship game and they had this film of him like walking out and his physiology and his body language was, was you know, powerful. And, you know, they got a close up of him that like, he was driving the ball and he was about to serve it, but he had this look in his eyes to the other opponent and he was just like, you're like, you're, I'm about to destroy you. And so, and so when Tony kind of, when Tony showed him that clip, he said, he asked him, like, do you remember that time? And, and Andre said, of course. And he said, and, he, and Tony said, like, just look how, your, look how your body was. Think about your mentality. Your whole physiology was there. Um, the way, I mean, like, like, even without saying a word, you knew you had the expectation that you were going to win. And then what he did was he panned over to another video. And the other video was him uh, the, the moment where he started going on this, all these losing streaks, it was, it was the tennis match where he started going on all these losing streaks. And you saw the physiology where like, you know, he's balancing kind of slow and you know, his body language, like he looked like he's almost scared um, to, the to the point where he was about to lose the match. Um, and so all these, and so, and so the, he saw, he, 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 gave, he gave Andre these two different perspectives of himself. And so it wasn't the fact that he didn't have the skill it was the fact that it was all in his mind. One, and on one side, he had the expectation of winning. He had the expectation that he was going to go out and crush it. And his whole physiology just completely changed. And so today, that's what I wanted to talk to you about is, is how to win um, even if you're stuck. This week and every, and every week moving forward. And so, you know, in USANA, it's a little bit different. And, you know, when we win in, in business, it doesn't mean that somebody else has to lose. Uh, when we win, no one has to lose. And so I want to share with you strategies, tips, and tools where you can, you can game the system, where you can win, where you can trick your mind into winning every single time. And so when we're winning, we feel more confident. When we're winning, our physiology is different. When we're winning, like everything starts to change and you start to want to win even more. And so the first thing I want to talk to you about is... Um, it's the first for the first tool and strategy is on the subject of activity, and so I know a lot of people have talked about this, um, but like I want to I want to focus on activity, and so what I mean by this is have you guys ever have you guys ever heard that expression, um, you know, shoot for the moon, and if you don't if you, if you miss it, you land among the stars, so. 
like like that that was kind of that was the thing when I first got into the business you know everybody was talking about you know dream big dream big and so here's the distinction for you so dream big when it comes to long-term goals dream big when it comes to long-term goals but when it comes to your daily and weekly activities make sure that it's bare minimum bare minimum so the distinction is long-term goals have big dreams short-term goals in the form of daily and weekly goals make sure that the activity make sure your goals are in the form of activities that are bare minimum so i'll give you an example of what i mean so for example um you know for us you know for at least for me i can only speak for myself but for myself um i set the bare minimum when it comes to uh like my business right and it's, and it's so weird right it's like people are like wait what are you talking about and so here's what i mean it, you know, like there's two types of goals on a daily and weekly basis that I set. One is a, something that is critical to the business, but is non-income producing. The second one is income producing activity. So let's go to the first one. So the not the critical, but non-income producing activity. So what that means is, um, so uh, for example, like uh, USANA consumption, right? It's critical to the business that you get results and that you're the product of the product. So I set my bare minimum goal for taking my supplements twice a day and and having one one nutri meal shake and that's it so that that is literally my goal to make sure that it's in my mind the second thing um is making sure that i either you know if you know for example if the lives are coming on and i know that's monday tuesday wednesday and friday for this group i would set the intention that i'm going anytime that i drive I'm going to watch one of these videos. So I have a, 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 a learning, a learning goal, right? So a learning goal. So it's critical to the business, but it's not, it's not income producing. So that's the first one. The second one, and this is, and this is different for every single team. So I would encourage you to work with your uplines to kind of, to, you know, to see what, what is the daily or, you know, everybody calls it like the daily method of operation. Uh, or the DMO or, or something like that, right? And so I would I encourage you to work with um, your uplines or your teammates to, to, to see what that is. So for us, for example, um, on a, to say a normal week, on an ideal week, um, we would have a prospecting, we would have a prospecting goal, like people that are coming, that people that we're adding to the list um, at bare minimum. And so it would be like 10, right? And so if you're actually doing the business, 10 would be, you know, if you're doing it full time, the 10 would just be not, not that much, but it's bare minimum. So I, I can commit to that every single week, 10. So if you break it down, it'd be like one and a half. Uh, the second thing would be, of the 10, how many people am I gonna invite? So invite to a presentation. And then the third thing is, how many people am I going to uh, uh, give a presentation to? And so, you know, I set those three things. Those are income producing activities that I set and it's the bare minimum. And so regardless of whatever happens, uh, wedding, funeral, um, uh, family reunion, whatever it is, I'm going to commit to this because the name of the game for this is consistency. Like, do you guys get that? Like the name of the game right here is consistency. And so if you are, if you're having these bare minimum goals and you're consistent with them, you're going to feel good about yourself. Right. And so I'll give you, I, 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 I'll, I'll show you, I'll kind of give you an example of where it shows them in other other areas. Um, there was a guy that was, um, I think he was like a really high, high, Hi, General, and he gave a commencement speech at a graduation. And the thing that he said about um, about about like his success in getting to the top, you know, and kind of getting to the level that he got was he said that every single day he made he made his bed. Every single day he made his bed, and and that was the secret to the success. So it was the simple task that he committed to every single day. So regardless of whatever happened during that day, when he came back. He felt good about himself because his bed was made, right? It was that simple task like, that he could have commit to. And so when you, when you trick yourself or when you kind of mind hack yourself into saying, like when you're setting yourself a goal and you're actually doing it, it feels good. You, you feel good about yourself. So the bare minimum for your short-term goals is something that you can commit to. And so that's something that I would encourage you guys to do um, is that that's the distinction is, is, is commit to something, um, something that is income producing and critical but not incoming, you know, critical, but not incoming, incoming, income producing activities. So, so that's number one. So focus on activity. Number two is celebrate. Um, you know, like for, for us, you know, like, especially with me, I'm, I'm the type of person that, 
um, when we when we set a goal, like I'm just thinking about the goal, and even when we are about to hit that goal, I'm always thinking about the next thing. And then when we actually hit the goal, I don't really do a good job celebrating. And so, um, one of the things that uh, we have some mentors and our upline mentors, one of the things that they've encouraged us to do is like celebrate more, um, because you know that's kind of part of the journey, right? So it, it, to be consistent in this journey. You gotta feel good about yourself. You gotta feel, you know, good about your milestones. And so, um, when we hit, like, for example, we we recently just hit um, Emerald Director, and so Helen and I we decided to go to a playoff basketball game in Washington. And um, one of the things was um, she'd never been to the basketball, but I'm I'm really hyped up on on the Washington Wizards. And so that was something that we kind of splurged on. Um, and, and so that, you know, after we hit the Emerald Director, we, we went to a basketball game and that was something cool. Um, when we do it on a weekly basis, something, so that's the big goals, but when we hit maybe something like on a weekly basis where we hit like our prospecting goals or we hit um, kind of like our critical but not encumbering producing activities for that week, we might like binge on an hour or two uh, on a Friday. Um, just just like on Netflix or something as like our way to celebrate you know we have a th almost three and a half year old and we got another baby coming so celebration types of celebration may be a little bit limited at this point right now in our lives um, so celebrate right and so I want you to think about this too um, if your team sees you celebrate and they see you working and they also see you celebrate think about what that says to your teams like it's it's okay you know like we can have fun along the journey um, like people are going to be happier. Tony always talks about, you know, there's the science of, of achievement and the art of fulfillment, right? And so most of us who are building this business and you're grinding and you're looking at these skills and you're doing all these things, um, we've, we've, you're going to get to a point where you're going to figure out the science to getting to the next rank and the next rank. But are you happy? Right? And so this is where celebration is so critical because what it does is that in your mind, you're, you're starting to anchor the fact that that success equals fun, right? Because what happens if, if you don't celebrate and you keep going up and up and up and you're and you, people kind of see you and you, you're also feeling kind of like, oh man, this, this thing always feels like dread and it, it feels like work all the time. You're unconsciously going to associate um, working and getting to the rank, next rank as uh, just not fun. Right and and it's gonna it's gonna suck and so some and then mentally unconsciously you might start to self sabotage yourself um, and so or maybe there's a certain cap or something like that right um, so 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 celebrate guys like celebrate so whatever it is you know you know go to dinner Netflix um, uh, you know like basketball games uh, dance you know I see some of my teammates like they dance but they dance in like the private uh, room <laughs> by themselves but they say yeah no trust me like I, I've been dancing so. Um, so yeah, celebrate. Um, and then the third key that I want to show, I want to share with you, and this is kind of like the secret sauce. The third, the, the third key that I've been implementing probably for the past maybe about eighteen months, um, and and I've broken it down to um, something, just one thing a week that I'm thinking about that could be effective towards moving uh, my business forward, or one thing that I've been stuck on that I need to figure out this week. And so I'll give you an example. Um, um, you know, like this week right now, it's about two and a half, I'm almost three months towards convention, right? A little bit less than three months towards convention, right? And so what, what we did last week was we identified all the different key leaders in our business. And we said, okay, are, the, are these people coming? And not, not just the key leaders, but like their key leaders that are a couple generations down, like are they coming, so, right? To see if like, you know, like, uh, you know, like to kind of help them. And so if they're not coming, what we do is we start to kind of start to strategize about like how do we get more people to come? How do we get these key leaders to come? And so that was last week. This week we started to plan on what are some of the fun things that for all the eyes or whatever it is, like, you know, like how can I do something outside of USANA, the convention, that I can that I can kind of add value to them and their experience by coming to this event so that I can kind of um, you know entice them to come, right? And, and so that was kind of our thing this week, was to figure that part out. And so next week would be locking it down, um, promoting even more, getting more people in. And so that was the one thing this week on effectiveness. Like how do I effectively move my business forward? And, and, that was, and that's something that, that we've been figuring out. And so um, on the flip side too, if you're stuck right now, 
figure out what is it that, that that's getting you stuck and do one simple task that you can do this week that you can finish this week to move you forward and so what it does is that it starts to put all this weight off your shoulders right and so if you can do the activity you can start to celebrate you can um, do one thing that is effective to move your forward business forward or get you unstuck what happens is your brain starts saying, oh, I'm making progress, I'm making progress, and progress equals happiness. Tony says that all the time, progress equals, progress equals happiness. And so when you're in motion, things start to, be, things start to, to feel like, like you're creating this momentum, and, and, and what happens is your body starts to feel it, you feel this momentum, and what happens? You feel like you're winning, and when you're winning, you don't want to stop winning, right? And so, and so that's, that's the way to start to kind of mind hack to get your body moving forward, even if you're stuck. Um, and, and so one thing that I would kind of start to uh, make a couple of distinctions for you. If you are, um, if you're at this point right now where maybe you're new um, or you, you, you know, maybe you, you, you have, you don't, you're like your uplines aren't really around or whatever it is, this is a great page for you to start to leverage off of other people and other leaders that are, um, getting, getting, you know, getting that exposure to be able to train and, and doing all this. And so the way that this group works is that it's not tactical at all. It's all conceptual, right? So things that um, can help you build social proof uh, that the business is, is the business is good. That, that you can get some great training on business concepts. Um, but when it comes to tactical stuff, you you know, everybody does it differently. So we won't we won't go too much into it. So um, hopefully, um, you know, with all the, the housekeeping stuff and the three tips to help you win this week and every single week after that, hopefully that that's helped. Um, if you guys could do me a favor, uh, drop a comment, give me one thing that you learned or one insight that you learned um, that could that you can implement right now. So that way, when other people come back and watch the replay for this video, they can kind of see some of your insights and we can all learn from each other. So until then, um, hope, you guys are, hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you next time.